Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and I've got my glasses off because I'm doing some up close work. Let's talk about it. It's the Honda EU2200 generator and I want to put a normal TT30 plug on there instead of that twist lock thing. So how am I going to do it? You guys can tell me every way I'm doing this wrong, but this is the way I'm doing it and if it doesn't work, we'll find out firsthand. If not, Maybe you guys want to follow along that don't know how to do this like myself. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Okay, so what I did first of all is took my multimeter and put it on the little tone for connectivity. And I found out which terminal went where on this adapter. I don't like running the adapter. I don't like it hanging off the front of the generator. I don't like that the cord is basically hanging off of this. That cord's already heavy enough. I don't like running adapters in the first place. I mean, that's just another series of contacts that could potentially have an issue or get corroded or be exposed to weather or whatever. Um, so what I did is found out where each one of these terminals went to on the plug so I know how to wire this new plug that I got all the links are going to be down below for this um, this plug here I figured out how to wire it um, once I take this one out so when I take the wires off of this I need to know how to put them on here now I believe there's probably going to be a ground and I think that ground is most likely going to be you know to this whole panel somehow and this plug may be grounded uh, to the panel um, which we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but you can see it's a Honda EU 2200 this will void your warranty just let everybody know this will void your warranty and if you can also tell the plugs much bigger so you're gonna have to cut a larger hole in here for this plug to fit the next thing I did was take all the screws out and basically get an eyeballs view of what this looks like in here again I don't think you're going to be able to see this necessarily, but there is a wire that's going to the bottom of this panel that is like grounded down there. Um, it's really hard to see. I'll stick you in here, see if we can get you closer than my head can get you. <laughs> you can see that big wire there that's dead in the center of the screen that shows it being bolted to the bottom of this metal panel. And then I believe this plug is going to be internally grounded somehow to this panel so hopefully um, I'll be able to work with that and what I'm hoping to see is yeah the same terminal is grounded on this again I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but uh, this wire here is grounded to the plug so I, I need to make all that work somehow uh, and then we've got the wires on the side here you've got a white one and a red one I don't know which goes where this says white this doesn't say anything and this says green well the green is ground I'm just gonna make sure that I I put it back on the terminals that correspond with this plug that are already feeding those three terminals basically I'm just getting rid of this and making it connect to this referring to this <laughs> so pretty straightforward then it looks like that the red wire um, will go to this one here that is marked with nothing and the white wire will go to this one here that says white on the terminal uh, I think the hardest part actually isn't going to be the wiring so much it's going to uh, be getting this plate to mount and ground correctly um, not destroying this panel now I might have to drill through the front of the panel here and run screws into the panel to hold this in place um, maybe I don't know but let me go ahead and knock this out just so you know how I got the hole relatively centered I went ahead and drilled the pilot for the uh, bit kind of saw where it's going to scratch on the uh, the plate and then I screwed the plate into the board that it's resting on uh, that way I know that I'm pretty much going to get it in the center you can see everything's off the back of my truck because I had to run to the store and buy a better hole saw <sighs> apparently Harbor Freight um, it's junk <laughs> actually I knew that it was you know <laughs> it's a terrible hole saw kit from years ago and I didn't use any lube or anything I just started cutting the metal and it stripped all the teeth off so I ran down to Damascus 
or true value whatever you want to call it hardware it's changed names now it's called do it best and uh, it was 11 bucks for me to buy a two inch bimetal hole saw so two inch 51 millimeter um, and from what I can tell it's the perfect size let me go ahead and show you it's not the prettiest cut because that's just the way things are never seems to go exactly the way you think it's going to however um, even though the decal is slightly changed you know a little bit we've got a fit that should be pretty darn tight and there you go so that's what it's going to look like from now on which is really nice I did did go over this wording here I'm going to do what I originally planned and that is uh, to put this plate on here like so and tighten everything down nice and tight um, now the best thing I could probably do here you can see that the metal here on the Honda part is is kind of up it's it's been pulled out I think I need to take a hammer and a, a block of wood on the backside here and go ahead and tap that down uh, by putting something like a socket around the bolt and and pound that back down so that this plate is fully grounded all the way around because I don't know if you can tell but there's the wire that grounds this and we want that wire against this plate or at least against this plate now there's there's ways around all this stuff and one of the ways is the wire that was down here that was screwed in that you see I could run a lead from there up to this and I might do that to ensure that it stays grounded okay progress report I went ahead and put a ground wire on here just in case it's plenty thick enough you can see how thick that thing is and uh, I believe that it's also being grounded with the band that was already on the plug to the frame but I just don't trust it I, I want to definitely have a redundant system here and that's why that wires there and then you can see what it looks like here not the best it's you know a little distorted and it doesn't look perfect but the main thing is is this plug is solid I went ahead and put the three screws in and it's not going anywhere so now I can start reassembling everything and I believe I should be able to get away with just leaving these connectors on and uh, putting them in to the uh, the holes you can see there uh, and tightening it down I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll fit in there and I think that it will spread them out nicely and uh, secure them quite nicely so let's get at it now we're all set went ahead and get the wires back in looks like everything relatively tight and secure for vibration and uh, it's all back in the right place had to help my son help me because I'm colorblind so uh, I couldn't tell which wire went which for a second there or two <laughs> but it looks like that we're uh, we're in pretty good shape here so uh, now all I got to do is just put this back up and um, yeah that's that's pretty much it go ahead and uh, put the screws back in to hold the panel it did scratch the front here this this piece here that kind of sucks uh, but you know this is going to get beat up a lot worse than what I'm doing right today so that's what it looks like that's what the plug is going to plug into from now on thank God I don't have to use an adapter uh, everything looks real good except for this uh, bit of my bed liner that I pinched in there and again it's not the best as far as professional looking you can see here the decal stands up I've scratched the unit in a couple spots here I mean this was brand new it only has I don't know maybe an hour's runtime on it and speaking of which I have to add an hour meter all right guys so the first thing we need to do is make sure that this thing runs I've got the hour meter secured here and I want to see if it starts counting up right now it's 0, 0.0 hours so a cono throttle off and choke on let's turn the generator on and then I'm going to try to do a pull from this side let's see what happens here Yeah, 124 volts is what that reads. Other than the battery charger, uh, nothing else is on. So let's go ahead. We're in zone one here. Zone one, uh, let's go ahead and make it high cool. 
and listen to see what happens to the generator. You can see here's the voltage. The fan just kicked on for the air conditioner, the high fan, and the compressor is next. And that's it, the compressor just kicked on. 119 volts and it's doing good. So that's it. Looks like that I needed a hole saw because the one that I have was junk. And it looked like that I needed to uh, add that ground cable. Other than that, it's pretty much bolt on. Uh, you just unbolt you know, the front and disconnect the wires, take pictures of your wiring. So if you guys comment and say, where does this wire go or that wire goes? Yeah, who knows a year from now I may not even remember doing this project so you don't want to trust me on it I don't see any problems with this I don't see any issues and I don't have to run that damn adapter it's not hanging off of the generator anymore the travel trailer plugs directly into it somebody had asked me about the EF 2200 that Yamaha just came out with um, it came with a travel trailer plug that was really the only thing that I seen was a plus with that generator um, I don't have a preference one way or the other between brands, but Yamaha reports their generator to be louder than this generator. So why would you buy a louder one? I know it's you know a hundred, maybe two hundred dollars less, but um, if you're going to be spending you know nine hundred dollars on a generator, you know maybe you should spend that extra hundred, two hundred dollars and go with one that's a little bit quieter and then just make that little change that I did, which again, the links will be down below for the travel trailer plug and the generator if you want to look out see which generator you know I specifically did this on um, uh, you know I, it's worth it it's worth it to me so that's it for this video I hope this worked out and helped you out somehow and uh, if I have any problems with this I'll let you know and as always guys I hope to see you out there bye